Hey guys, Carlo here. This is the Samsung Galaxy A71. It is literally one of the most searched phones right now on Google here in the Philippines. And I just couldn't resist picking one up and doing an unboxing for you here on the channel. So if you're curious about the Samsung Galaxy A71, this is the video for you. Let's go! yet let me give you two reasons to do so number one we're giving away a supreme body bag 100% legit and authentic all you have to do is to subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram join our Facebook community and then click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics I'm also giving away a Nike react infinity running shoe in your size so again all you have to do follow those three steps and then click the link for the rest of the mechanics good luck so let's jump right into it this is the Samsung Galaxy a71 box you have the picture of the phone in the color that I bought it says A71 at the front Samsung branding all around and the seal of approval or do not break seal along the edges of the phone if you pop the box open there's actually nothing inside because I have the phone already beside me and I've been using it for a day to give you my initial impressions in today's video but before we get to the phone let's take a quick look at what's inside the packaging you have the super fast charging wall charger over here you have the USB-C cable and then you have headphones yes headphones because the phone has a headphone jack and that is always awesome to have a phone that has a headphone jack if you take a look at the top of the lid there is a packet over here with the sim ejector tool as well as a free silicone case that you can use to protect your phone which is always appreciated and then there was the Samsung Galaxy A71 this device sells for 22,000 plus pesos here in the Philippines roughly 440 US dollars and you're probably thinking is that worth my money is it worth every peso for every spec that's in this device the answer to that is you're really paying for two things. You're paying for the phone, the innards of the phone, the, the look and the design of the phone, and you're paying for the brand. You're paying for the Samsung brand. And if that matters to you, if you have affinity for Samsung, you're actually paying a bit of a premium. Because to be honest, if you take a look at the specifications, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 processor. It has 128 gigabytes internal storage. It's obviously expandable. You have a 6.7 inch Super AMOLED display. You have a stunning camera setup here at the back. And here's the reality. There are phones from other brands, particularly Chinese brands, that offer almost the same specifications at a much lower price point. So ultimately, it boils down to your trust when it comes to Samsung, to your trust to the brand, and to your love for the brand. And that's, I think, what, what, what marketing and what technology, consumer technology, is turning out to be today. It's no longer just about what phone has the best specs it also boils down to the brand story to what the brand stands for and that's something that you should ask yourself is that something that you're willing to pay for especially when it comes to the samsung galaxy a71 if you ask me i don't mind paying a premium for brands i wear uh, really nice watches every now and then by the way i did an unboxing of this which is the Zeiko Zimbe Sumo slash Thanos watch. So the link can be found down below. I'm also, you know, a huge fan of sneakers, some of which you pay mostly for the brand and not for the materials of the shoe itself. So I can understand and appreciate good brands and what they stand for. That's just something that you will have to answer yourself. Because some people will just zero in on the specs, ignore the brand. I mean, they just want to get the best bang for your buck without thinking about the brand anymore. And that's perfectly fine if that's how you're built and that's what you look for in devices. But if you want something more than the specs and you want to take a look at the brand story, then of course, you have to pay a premium. Now, if you need to know anything about the Samsung Galaxy A71, it boils down to three things. Number one, you have a delicious 6.7 inch Super AMOLED display with a really small hole for the front facing camera. Number two, it has a stunning camera with a 64 megapixel sensor as the main shooter. It also has ultra wide angle as well as a macro lens, making it a super versatile shooter for whatever situation that you're in. And number three, it is a capable gaming smartphone. It is not top, you know, top tier. It is not flagship level because it's not the very best. But for but for like 20,000 something pesos, it should be able to get you through whatever game it is that you're playing, be it NBA. Uh, PUBG or maybe even Mobile Legends. Well, obviously, 
including Mobile Legends. By the way, if you haven't yet, I did an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. So I'll put the link down to that if you guys are curious about this phone. It's a 30,000 peso price point. So that's like $600 that gives you, ta-da, the full or almost full S Pen experience. If you are looking for an affordable Galaxy Note, you have to check out my unboxing of the Galaxy Note 10 Lite. And moving forward, I'll be doing a comparative review between both devices. So watch out for that coming this weekend. So should you buy the Samsung Galaxy A71? Now, I've only had limited time with it. I've only had like a day with it. But I can already tell you that it boils down to what you need in a phone and if you can afford it. Because ultimately, it is still 22,000 pesos. That's not, you know, small money that you can just throw away. So if, if you have that money to, to, uh, to, to spend on a phone, and if the Samsung Galaxy A71, the Samsung brand, is something that you want to have in your life and you want to have in your daily gadget arsenal, then by all means, check it out. But please do take note, I'll be doing like a full review of the A71 in a couple of days, including camera samples. So if you're wondering, if the camera is as good as the ad sage it says it does or it can do uh, just check back when we do the full review very soon before we end the vlog i just want to do a quick toy unboxing so as you guys know i'm a big fan of quicks quicks is a filipino artist who does toys art toys that are a combination of his inspirations of streetwear street culture or street art as well as japanese robots so this is the i am retro destroyer I actually have two so this one is still sealed so we'll keep it sealed and i'll show you what it looks like on box so this bam, bam is what the figure looks like take a look at that beast so as you can see it is very clear that it is robot inspired japanese robot inspired you have the logo of quicks over there you have the family computer vibe and feel thus it is called retro you have select and start but here it says destroy and destroy here at the back it says game over destroy I am retro. So it's a really nice collectible toy, especially if you are a fan of Japanese robots and art toys like this one. So super thrilled to add this in my toy shelf over there, which is filled with quick toys. And that's actually it for our vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it educational, informative, and all that good stuff. Again, let me remind you, we are giving away the Supreme Body Bag as well as the Infinity Nike React. So make sure that you guys are subscribed. Make sure to follow me on IG. Join our Facebook community and then click the links down below for the mechanics so you can be part of the drawing pool. I'll be drawing the winner of the body bag this Sunday. The Nike sneaker I'll probably draw next week as well. And then we'll announce a new giveaway, most likely a gadget or maybe a shoe, who knows? Make sure that you keep watching every day. I upload videos mostly on sneakers, life, sometimes watches, and tech. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and as usual, peace, God bless, what's up, boom.